Hello everyone, Counterspot here, here back with another EDH guide. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to say please leave a like and share this video along with other videos found videos found on my channel with other people. Uh, while you're here, you may as well hit the notification bell along with the subscribe button, because why not? Thank you to the 110 of you who are currently subscribed. It means a lot. Um, hit me up in the comment section with questions, concerns, criticisms, general ideas, general thoughts, EDH requests. Uh, for EDH requests, I will get to those in chronological order of comments made. So if you're the first to comment, your request will be first featured on my channel. Uh, in order. So get to the comment section. One more thing. Oh, wrong one. Here we are. Oh, donate to ALSF or Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer to fight to fight against childhood cancer one cup at a time. One or one hundred dollars. You make a donation. You make a difference. And with that said, let's get let's get into this commander guide. So, we have Galta and Marvin uh, from March of the Machine, which will be coming soon-ish. Glad to see uh, two legendary creatures return, uh, bigger and better. First of all, can we talk about three man, no, three generic, double green and double white for a 12-12 with Trample, legendary dinosaur vampire. That on its own is insanity. I know the original Gal Galta could be could be cast for double green, but still, this is pretty good. However, it gets even better. Whenever you attack, choose one. Create a tapped and attacking XX green dinosaur creature token with trample. Rex is the greatest power among other attacking creatures, so you could go dinosaur tribal with this. Or create X. 1-1 one, one, white vampire creature tokens with lifelink rexes the number of attacking creatures. So you could do a go wide deck, a dinosaurs deck, vampires would work very well because of how fast you could go wide. Uh, the way I built this was go wide in general so it doesn't matter what we're do what tokens we're producing we're trying to go wide so probably going with vampires but we've also got some uh, car some creature cards in here that, uh, if we that can allow us to create some big dinos with Galta and Marvin here. So to give an example, I have a Johnny Goldman. Uh, minus six. Put a white avatar creature token onto the battlefield. It has this creature's power and toughness are each equal to your life total. In Commander, you start with 40, so if you have gone unscathed, unscathed up to this point, you could minus 6 a Johnny and get a white avatar, which, whose power and toughness are each equal to your life total, which would be 40 in that case, because you'd be unscathed. And then you attack, and Galta and Marvin creates you a 40-40 green dinosaur creature token with trample that is a tapped and attacking. So, that's the end of someone right there. So that's just an example. And then, we have some other cards, like board wipes and stuff, synergies. So we'll get into that right now. Azan Beastmaster. Adeline Resplendent Cathar. Alter Golem. Bane of Progress. Battle Mammoth. Best Soul Nourisher. Caller of the Hunt. Crusader of Odric. Driz, Driz, Du Urden, Du Urden, Enduring Angel, which flips into Angelic Enforcer. Don't know how to get rid of that. Hold on. Oh well. Garrick's Pack Leader, Geist Honored Monk, God Eternal, Oket. I mean, not Oketra, God Eternal Rona, excuse me. 
can finish someone off. Iron Root Warlord, Majestic Myrarch, Audric Master Tactician, Pathbreaker Ibex, Queen Ellen Elenal of Rodak, Regal Force, Scion of the Wild, Sarah Avatar, Sharpshooter Elf, Sigarda's Vanguard, Silverwing Squadron, Soul of Eternity, Tristani, Celestia's Voice, Verdant Sun's Avatar, Veteran War Leader, Voice of Resurgence, Wayfaring Temple, Momentous Fall, Wave of Vitter Oil, Have a One Side Board Wipe, Visions of Glory, Overwhelming Stampede, Overrun, Fungal Sprouting, Fell the Mighty, Blessing of Frost, Halo Fountain, Stoneforge Masterwork, Abundance, Colossal Majesty, Elemental Bond, Family's Favor, Fight Rigging, Garrick's Uprising, Growing Ranks, Unnatural Growth, then we have Mosswort Bridge and Windbrisk Heights, 24 Forest, and 24 Plains. <clears throat> so, looks like turns 1 and 2 are going to be preparation for turn 3. If not, then definitely turn 7 when our commander hits the table. Although, knowing us we'll, and how we'll probably be ramping. Could put probably like Circle of Dreams Druid in here. So on curve, we have a 99.74% chance of playing Stoneforge Masterwork. The, the average mad value of our main board, our main board, is 2.13. And with lands and without them, it's 4.31. The next total mana value is 211. The average number of lands in an opening hand is 3.54, for them, as always, for the most part. Uh, the deck comes out to be $121.37, which compared to others, $1,138.31. Mind you, there are some alternate art styles in here. There we go. Five fifty-two and forty-eight cents. Seven hundred six dollars and eleven cents. So, pretty budget, uh, judging by what we've seen so far uh, from those three decks. They may be a bit. They may overpower this deck, but you never know until you try it, so buy the deck itself or playtest it on Moxfield.com, whether it's my deck or someone else's. With that said, that is this Commander Guide wrapped up, starring Galta and Marvin, and we have more uh, historical figures from Magic returning, and I will, and you can bet I'll be featuring them here soon, but for now, that's going to be it. Donate to ALSF to fight against childhood cancer one cup at a time. One on $100, you make a donation, you make a difference. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, that way you can't miss another one of my videos. Thank you to, to the 110 of you currently subscribed. Hit me up in the comment section with questions, concerns, criticisms, general, general ideas, and thoughts and or EDH request you may have. I'd be happy to fulfill as long as it's in, also I'll be doing it in chronological order. Uh, so what that means for you is get to the comment section first if you want your commander to be first featured in an EDH request. I'll get to everyone's request eventually though, just in order. Um, oh. Share this video along with other videos found on my channel with other people and hit the like button since you're already here. With that said, I will see you guys Monday. Bye-bye.